for that one. We'd be there already. Looking to become the 29th bear to hit the 1,000 point mark. Nice passing here by UAPB, looking for the open man. Bears have recovered nicely on defense. McKnight, his fifth and assist to turnover ratio, third in minutes played per game. I mean, he just fills up the stat sheet. Not to mention he scored in double figures in 22 games. Yeah. That's somebody you can count on. And there he goes to work. Carter, and Marco Carter brings it into the front court. Eight and a half minutes in the first half. Working around the perimeter for a McKnight three, and he drills it from the left corner. On the right side, both his buckets have been threes here in the second half, 55-37. Well, good to see him get going from downtown. Bob into the middle of the lane to Smith. Back out. McKnight has a good look at a three, and he nails it. That's the first two career high. And he's only missed once, so he's still got a chance to rewrite that uh, record of 90% or better in a game. 57 to 40, 940 to play. Smith, the high post against Jemiah Simmons. Off to Doss. Takes Miller to feed into the corner for a McKnight three, and he knocks in it. Sekou Torre is getting ready to come back for Coach Pasternak, and so too is Jay Nagel. And I think the offense against the zone will pick up, but right now the zone is winning against the uh, Gaucho offense. This is Robertson, and Robertson lost it near turnover, but fortunately for the Golden Lions, Hardy was there. Now McKnight will launch an NBA three at the shot clock. He's one of 20 players on the 2019 Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year Award watch list. So I don't think you get there if you don't uh, have something special in your game. And Martavia, the 6'8 junior out of Memphis, was standing there waiting, and Culver ran right through him. Under a minute now to go before halftime here in Lubbock. Red Raiders by 14. Corporu, the guy on Martavius McKnight. Don't want to let him get loose for a shot. Jackson charged a moment ago. Here's McKnight, Corporu on him. McKnight forces one and it went. Wow, right at the for the Lions. I'm telling you, you cannot give Marcus McKnight any.
concentration to keep that <laughs> left pivot foot down, even though he was getting pushed back by the defender and still deliver a high percentage shot. Just great work by De Silva. He's got 18 today. We mentioned his season high, 22 against Air Force. He and Kreklo now both with 18 for Missouri State. There's a spin. 70 to 51 with 410 remaining. Post-up maneuver by McKnight. Has to kick it out of a double team to Doss. Back to McKnight. And pulls up, edge of the paint, fires and hits. Cosmetic point. Like, Man, come on. I'm trying to get in the scorebook, and I'm not going to get my second shot. A lot of talent there, just very raw. Here's McKnight trying to back down to Sean Corporu and turns and Diallo and Chapman both crashing the boards that time. Great aggression on the offensive glass for the Minutemen, and they were rewarded. Right there with them. Four offensive rebounds for UMass. One for the Golden Lions. Golden Lions for the basketball down 25 13. Driving McKnight on the fake, looking for some space. Now kicks it out to Carter. Back to McKnight. On the the perimeter. And that step back three and each. The whole defense had shifted to the far side of the court, and Pierre wide open, got his feet set. That sweet looking stroke was true on that one. 50 uh, 28, UMass in the lead. Three for seven now for Carl Pierre from beyond the arc. UAPB's McKnight driving in the lane. That's Bartley's third three on the young season. McKnight shut off, pulls the trigger anyway. And...
crowd. McKnight rejected again by Teak. Carter tracks it down. McKnight will try a three, and he rattles it home. Massively. The final minute approaching us here. What in, what in the first half. Well, it's going to be walk-on time Sam for about Martin. five minutes. <laughs> That's about right tonight, the way this one has gone. Sam Martin.